Hello lovelies, it's been a while since we've, since you've seen my face, but, um, okay. Eh. So, there's going to be a PSA, as you've seen by the title. And it's about, what, well, <laughs> I forgot why I'm starting this PSA, oh my gosh. Oh, man. I am so retarded right now. <laughs> eh. Be right back. But I remember what the... What I was talking about. I am getting stuff together because I'm so retarded. I forgot what the hell I was talking about. So I... Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop right now. Okay? Good. Bye. Hey, that little joke was too short. I remembered what I was going to talk about. So... I'm pretty sure that most of you have tried to do something in a movie. Something stupid like, uh... Okay, if you... Say... In all those movies where... Where, uh... You try to go guns a blaze and shoot a... Okay, paintball. You go in, guns blazing, try to shoot everyone on your team and knock on the opposite team and not get hit. In paintball, you just get shot right away. Because people who go to... Because everyone in paintball is of equal intelligence. Because, for one thing, you have about as much chance in hitting somebody as the next guy. Unless you are trained in the army, then all of a sudden you have a distinct advantage. And number two about it is the cliche in action movies where someone can fire a gun and the protagonist and the bullet will not hit him. That's just exaggerated. Okay, here's something though that is a bit different. Now, I've heard a lot about, about the uh, Lady in the Tramp thing. Okay, I'm going into Disney romance, which is terrible. But anyways, uh, so you probably tried to do the one, try to read. So any of you romantic guys out there who tried to recreate the uh, most iconic scene in Lady and the Tramp to this day, which is... Ugh, which I can only assume is the spaghetti scene. And if you are... Who am I kidding? Anyone who's here, who's watching this, doesn't have a girlfriend. Because they're on the internet. No. It's most likely... that anyone on the internet is basically a guy. But that's a bit offensive, so I'm going to forget that it can happen. My point is, people have tried to recreate it. No one gets that lucky. If anything, you just look stupid doing it. Now, what's this all about? It's about recreating things you saw in movies. Or doing something that was inspired by a, a movie. So, what? So, you may be asking, What is the point of this PSA? We already know not to do the stuff in movies. Uh, parents, this stuff that down our throats a long time ago. If it worked, if the crime rate were, if the, 
if it were, there wouldn't be, there'd be far more people alive today. Because I'm going to talk about, about something that's a bit stupid. What's more stupid than trying to recreate something you saw in a movie? Committing a crime based off of something you saw in a movie. See, believe it or not, people have seen movies and TV shows and decided, you know what, I'm going to do some of that really badass stuff that they do. <clears throat> you know what happens? They either die, you get arrested, or it just looks stupid in front of their friends. So... There's a lot of ways to go on with, so there's a lot of directions you could go with this. So I'm just going to get a few instances. Most of you have probably seen the Matrix movies. And the only one that really matters is the first one. So this may interest you, but there was a, but uh, people have decided but some people who watch that movie end up committing crimes based on the stylized action that made it so good to watch. They tried to be Neo. You cannot be Neo. Their stupidity knew no end and they are arrested. Now, this may come as a shock to you, but there's a very serious instance of one of the most <clears throat> a very infamous presidential assassination was actually based off of a, was actually inspired by a movie no not Kennedy uh uh I forget his name. I'm assuming that you've all seen Forrest Gump because your mom wanted to watch it and you ended up watching it too. And you couldn't get anything out of your head since then. Uh, the president that escaped assassination. Or whatever. Uh, basically... Someone tried to kill the... A while ago... Someone tried to kill the president because I saw it in the action movie Taxi Driver. If you don't know what that is, I don't blame you. I barely understand it myself. But what my point is... If you try to commit a crime because you saw something in a movie that inspired you to do this, you have obviously spent too much time in your mother's basement. It's time to... It's time to, uh... move out, get some psychological treatment, uh... find some prescription to make sure that you're not... Bipolar. If you don't know what that is, basically, you go from one, you go from bright and cheery and one, and then all of a sudden you're depressed. My dad's like that, but he has a prescription, so it doesn't really matter. Unless he goes off of it, he's never gonna do that. I know it. Anyways. Ugh. Ah, low on power. Well, my point is, if you see something in a movie, don't recreate it. You're just gonna look like an idiot. Have personal property damage. You could even be arrested. Okay? Just because you saw something in a movie doesn't mean it's worth getting doesn't mean that, that you trying to recreate it is worth going to jail. 
Seriously. So if you try So the next time you watch a movie with a badass anti-hero then you're all like, hey, I want to be like that guy. I want you to punch yourself in, the, in your balls. Then say to yourself, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I want you to say that. Because if you think that saying, I want to be like that guy. If you're saying that about some... Anti-heroes say uh, someone if you're saying about any anti-hero comic book, movie, TV show, I don't care. If you want to be like that guy, please just punch yourself in the balls and just move on. You're not gonna get anywhere doing stuff that you saw in movies. And if anything, you're not gonna... If anything, you're not going to do anything. Do... Basically, please, just don't recreate anything you saw in a movie. Unless you're doing... Unless it's a standard... If you're, unless you're making a movie. And uh, you want to throw in a few of those little action sequences, similar and all that. Just script writing. Just as long as you recreate it in the movie, and nothing, and no one's really gonna get hurt. You you're just gonna be fine. So this has been an interesting PSA. Well, I'm just going. Well, until next time, don't feed the trolls, and I'll see you later, lovelies.